All right, so now in our next step, we have here uh, added the connection to uh, the database, the data warehouse. We have add the uh, columns that we want to work. So two of them are fact tables. They're gonna tell me the amount uh, and uh, dimensions. Uh, and two dimensions, they're gonna give the data, the amounts uh, that we are going to calculate a uh, reference to, to the gender or marital status. So the next thing that we wanna do is add a table because I wanted to see my data represented in a format that uh, is a table. So how we do that? So we're gonna go and in the toolbox, so we're gonna grab the table. But in here, I don't see any toolbox, so I close it before, so I'm gonna go view. I'm gonna open the toolbox. And in the toolbox here, I'm gonna grab a table and I'm gonna drop this table here in my report. So that's, I don't need this anymore, so I'm gonna close it. So here's my table. <clears throat> so the first thing that I wanna do is to add gender and marital status, then total sales amount, uh, amount, sales amount and total product. So let's see. So let's go add first, I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna grab gender to my table, then the manager status, and then the sales amount. And I got short of one of them. So what I do if if I get, I get here the total product, uh, there, the total product cost, and I put in the blue line here, I have, I adds a new column to my table. So if I want to see how my data behaves and, and see how is gender marital status uh, related to the sales amount, how much is sold and the total product cost, I'll go here to my tab in the preview. And now it's going to populate the data based on the gender and the marital status. So um, males, single males, uh, the sale amount is 3,578 and the total product cost uh, of that is 2,171. So it tells me I had to add more calculations for this, but this simple report is just tell me the behavior of a gender, you know, a, a customer, the customer gender and his marital status and the total sales amount of, of that, that, that gender, that single male uh, did in our database. So uh, a male, that is single, but all male and single ball, 3,578. So let me see who is the one who buy the most, Mary and fe female, female, single, single for this product. So now we had to add is the name of the product to see, you know, how much that they sold. So I, th I think that's a good, uh, you know, another, thing to have. So females that single bought, I don't know the name of the product, but bought 3,399. So that's, you can add as much, as much as you can, as many columns that will make you uh, analyze your data. Very good. So let me go over before we, this is a very simple one. You can add this as much as you want. You can edit the data set and add, let's see here. So here, let's set query design and we're gonna add product order. Let's see, customer carry order date on a price, the name. I think we had to add another table. So 
So we end in product here. I'm going to put this in here. And in dim product, I'm going to add English product name. Okay, okay. Refresh. What is the refresh? Refresh, refresh. Open it. So now from, we're going to go and add right here the English product name. So let's see. Uh, preview. Now I know that Mountain Hunter Silver C is the name of the product that females, single females bought and the amount they bought it. So <coughs> excuse me. So here you have a better context to your report. So like I said, you can add more things to make your report more um readable or make more sense because if you see the numbers you don't know what they're talking about so that makes more sense uh adding the the name of the product there so very good so one thing before i finish this is uh sometimes what i said that you're going to add here a new data set is because here if you go double clicking your your data source it's because the credential has to be, you have this uncheck. The use Windows authentication is unchecked, so you are not able to connect to the data source. So, so that's it.